suicide is a particularly big problem in rural communities in Western North Carolina and in Appalachia. We're certainly in, in a rural area. We know that the suicide rates continue to, to steadily climb. They're especially problematic for young people. We gotta do something. We gotta do something. The Injury Free NC Academy is our workforce development initiative in North Carolina. And we held a session to focus on suicide prevention to enable teams from communities that were interested and ready to address suicide to help them advance their work in their community. So CDC's core injury funding is a foundational funding for our program. The core injury funding program helps us establish a base to be able to work with a very wide range and diverse group of partners. CDC supported the Injury Free Academy and that really served as the genesis for the CALM program. CALM stands for Counseling on Access to Lethal Means. It's a relatively new approach to more traditional forms of suicide prevention uh, and it focuses around reducing people's access to uh, the most dangerous methods of suicide when they're in crisis. They're doing great work in the state. We would not have had that program in North Carolina if it hadn't been for the Academy experience. The Core State Violence and Injury Prevention Program partnership with the Injury Control Research Centers is critical so that we can generate knowledge that helps to advance the field of injury and violence prevention. These partners bring different perspectives and both are critically important. So we need to have that big picture view of um, what is working, what the research tells us, but we also need that practical side of it. And our practitioners know what's likely to work in their region. They know what the priorities are of the populations that we're really trying to address with these groups. And it's critical that both research is informing practice and that practice is informing research. The Injury Control Research Centre funding that we receive from CDC allows us to do so much more, to do a study that actually has an impact and to take the information that we create from our research and distribute it to the community so that they can use it. I have no doubt that lives have been saved through this. I think it really sets the tone for establishing you know, evidence-based practices that uh, fundamentally, um, not just to start the process, but to sustain it. It's all about safety, and I think everyone can get behind that.